What's up you guys, Adamski here. Let me show you how to get OP really fast at the beginning of the game. Just follow my advice and in 15 minutes of your gameplay you will quickly level up your character, strengthen your weapon and get more flasks to replenish health. This is going to give you a massive advantage right off the start to get through the game in a more enjoyable way. Alright, so let's get on with it. As you can see, I've just started as a samurai and I would recommend you doing the same. That's because he's got the best starting weapon from the whole lot and what's good about it is that it does a decent damage, has a good range and what's most important, it has a property to cause the blood loss, which can massively stack up damage. Anyways, after doing the basic stuff of getting to the gate front, activating its Sight of Grace and then having a chat with Malina that gets you a summoning ring to call up your horse, we are good to go. Now don't worry if your map is completely blank and uncovered as I will guide you showing you exactly where to go, ok? Now just to give you the idea, first we will be going from the gate front right there to the third church of Marika. It's a very simple road to follow, so just jump on your steed and start riding. We won't be engaging in combat with anyone, so don't worry about that as you won't be challenged in any fight. So just outrun any foes that you see on the road and you will be alright. Also, you might want to use Dash to move faster. On Xbox controller, that's B button, and if you're playing on PS5, use Circle, ok? Now, I'm going to slightly speed it up to save some time, but no worries, I will still give you the necessary directions. So for now, we are just going straight down the main road, so now, after you pass the bridge, you want to turn left into this road and continue riding down its path. Don't worry about the stray arrows, sometimes that happens. Ok, as you travel, you will be going under the big rock. Then there will be this lonely troll just walking about. And there it is, the third church of Marika. So let's just ride through the main door and activate its sight of grace. Then exit the church through the gap in the wall. Keep going and you will end up in a pond. Now if you go up through the greenery, you will discover a portal that takes you to another location. So let's do that. Ok, we ended up in this lovely place. As you can see from the map, we travelled quite a distance. So all we need to do now is just ride down to the small earth tree and then move on to the Fort Faroff. And that's it, simple stuff. Alright, so let's get going. Now as you go down, you might want to quickly grab that golden seed from this baby tree, as this will get you extra flask that replenish health, which is another step in building an OP character. Also, as we approach the bridge, you might want to activate this Sight of Grace. Alrighty, you will surely notice that there is a dragon on that bridge, but don't worry about it too much, he ain't gonna even touch you, he will make a lot of noise, but that's about it. You just have to run past him, right next to his wing. Just like that, you see? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now we can just leave him behind and carry on. Ok, we are moving on towards the tree. Now you want to get at the back of it. Once you get there you will notice that gust of wind is like an elevator, so just get on it and have a jump. It will shoot you up where we need to go. Alright, finally we have arrived. Let's move up through those trees. 
So what you see now is actually the back of a giant old dragon that had grown to the ground and is now practically immobilized, which renders him non-dangerous. Now, before we do any action, let's activate the nearby Sight of Grace first. By the way, if you just started playing now, then by doing so, you will also get invitation to Roundtable Hold. But you can always go there later on, after we finish our business here. Okay, getting back to the dragon. Basically, we want to slay his ass to get shitload of runes. Now let me show you the best spot to do it, because trust me, you don't want to get in front of him, as this will attract a bunch of smaller dragons that can whoop your ass. So that's his leg, and you just want to hack and slash it. And now you will see the reason why you want to use weapons with blood loss like katana, because it seems like you're not doing much by swinging that sword, right? That dragon has got a ton of health and you might be here for a while before you actually cut him to pieces. But look at this, after a few rounds, bang, 13,000 damage. You see what I mean? That blood loss kicks in to give a staggering critical hit. So keep on swinging that sword and don't worry about the noises that you hear. As you might have guessed, the small dragons have been woken up, however, they won't get you here. So keep on swinging and before long, after a few minutes, that lying beast will be slain. And you will get a whooping amount of runes to spend. You see? 74,000. Nice! Also, you get 5 dragon hearts that you can trade for dragon's magic spells. Alright, so now you can spend those 74k runes at the Site of Grace to quickly level up. As you know, there is one nearby that we've just activated a moment ago, so let's go there. Now, it's up to you how do you want to invest the runes. For example, you might want to increase your strength and dexterity, and this will let you wield a massive weapons that deal a lot of physical damage. Great axes, colossal swords, you name it. And that's my personal choice, so think about that. Okay, but there is more that you can actually do at the start of the game to get even more OP. First of all, you want to strengthen your weapon with the smithing stones. Right there at the very first church of LA, you can get your weapons up to plus 3, which is very nice to have it at the start. So let me show you very quickly where to find all those stones required to make that upgrade. Trust me, it can be done in few minutes. Right, so we're starting off from the gate front, however this time going the opposite way. We're going up, but like before, we don't give a damn about all those guys on the way. We just want to dash and run past them. As you move on through the main road, you will be passing by the baby earth tree. Make sure that you grab that golden seed from it, as this will get you yet another flask to replenish health. By the way, we are going to this location, Saints Bridge. Anyways, as we ride up from the golden tree, the next point of interest is very close by. It's just another site of grace that you want to have activated. It's called the Stormhill Shack. Now, I'm going to speed up our journey so we don't spend too much time on sightseeing. It's a very straight road that leads through a small camp, so you shouldn't have any problems getting there. All right, there we are. Now let's cross the bridge. Right at the end of it, you want to pick up your first smithing stone from this dead body. Okay, now as you leave the bridge, you will notice on the right hand side a small campfire. That's one of the merchants sitting by it. So approach him and buy yourself another free smithing stones. They cost only 200 runes each. It's a good deal and I'm sure that you have that kind of money now. Alright, so now you want to fast travel to that Stormhill shack, which we activated on the way. From here, move down a bit to get back to that baby air tree that we've seen before. and then follow this path.
you will quickly notice some black corpses lying on the ground. One of them is actually sitting on a chair, so there is another smithing stone for you. Now continue moving forward in that direction. You will eventually pass the pond and get to this location with five trolls walking around. In the middle of this scene there will be a statue with some really good stuff inside of it. However, before you can grab a hold of it, first you need to get attention of one of these trolls. Then get back behind the statue, he will start charging at you and basically smash the statue as he goes through it. Now it's your chance to grab the loot. It's 5 smithing stones plus 1 of level 2. Nice. So after you grab that goodies, you can fast travel back to the church of Elech. Now we need one more smithing stone to do the plus 3 upgrade. And for that final smithing stone, which is very close by, you need to simply get off the cliff to the side of the lake below. And then find this small chasm in the ground where at the edge of it, there will be another dead guy that holds the stone. There you go, you've got all of them. Now we can get back to the church to make the upgrades. So let's see how it's done. Okay, well done. Also, don't forget about those golden seeds that you collected from the baby air trees. Now you can add the charges to your flask and instead of three, you will have five of them. How cool is that? There you go, you just got yourself a nice OP character to start your journey through the lands between. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that this guide was helpful to you guys. If so, then please consider supporting my channel with sub and like. I've got more guides and tutorials for Elden Ring that you might want to check out if you want to have a better experience with that game. Alrighty, have a good one, see you next time, bye for now.